colleagues, um, good morning, uh, good afternoon, uh, good evening from all parts of the world. My name is Sivwe Bangani, and I'm the Director of Research Services at the Stellenbosch University Library and Information Services in Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, actually, we don't call it services, we call it Library and Information Service. Um, my role today will be to facilitate the webinar. The Academic and Research Library section of IFLA hosts a webinar on a very, you know, topical issue in academic and research library and for any type of library for that matter. The webinar is entitled on social justice, diversity and inclusion in academic and research libraries. Um, social justice, diversity and inclusion are crucial concepts for academic and research libraries to understand and implement. These concepts reflect a commitment to equity, respect, and dignity for all individuals, regardless of their background, identity, or experience. By incorporating social justice, diversity, and inclusion into their policies, practices, and services, academic and research libraries can better serve their communities and promote positive change. For today's webinar, colleagues, we have two speakers, Ms. Nelly Chabalala, from the Northwest University in South Africa. Nelly has extensive experience in library and information services, having worked in libraries in South Africa and the United States. She holds a Master of Science degree in library and information science from Clark Atlanta University, Atlanta, USA, and various other qualifications. She has presented and published papers in national and international conferences. Nelly served as um, serve IFLA as a standing committee member for the libraries serving persons with print disabilities sections, I mean section from 2015 to 2019. Following Nelly will be Helen Chan, Miss Helen Chan. She is a lecturer of the Master of Science in Library Information Management Program, as well as the founder and lecturer of the Bachelor of Science Information Management module. Um, she is a recipient of 16 awards, including the IFLA Continuing Professional Development and Workplace Learning Section Bursary in 2019. Currently, she is the IFLA Professional Division Committee Chair, the Chair of the IFLA Action Plan Working Group, IFLA Professional Committee, uh, Council Committee Member, um, and if IFLA World uh, Library and Information Congress Subcommittee Member. She is the board member of the international uh, or the international advisor for the Journal of Librarianship and Information Science. She is the author of the best-selling book, Hong Kong School Libraries in the Reading 2.0 Era. Uh, it's written in Chinese um, and in the, it's, it's in the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of China. So after this, then Nelly, you can take over. Uh, thereafter, it will be Helen who will take over after you uh, to speak to her topic, and you will introduce your own topics. Uh, thank you so much, colleagues. Nelly? Thank you very much, um, Chairperson. Thank you very much, Chairperson for this um, warm welcome. Um, I'm gonna share my screen just now. Okay. Um, I must say that uh, I'm very delighted to, to, to be invited in this webinar and speak to you to the topic that is very passionate uh, to my heart uh, because uh, libraries have long been advocating for social justice. It is not something new altogether, but however, I will speak in the context of the, the Northwest uh, University and accentuate the experiences that the university library um, 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 does activities to demonstrate inclusivity diversity and, and social justice.
I think by the end of the presentation, you'll be able to tell me whether there is indeed ethics of care beyond the academic library sphere. You know, uh, that is uh, my topic um, for, for today. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background, um, the Northwest University is spread across um, the, the two provinces in the country, that is uh, the Gauteng and, uh, the North, and, and the Northwest province. We have uh, three campuses um, and with a student population of uh, 52,875 uh, students in total and 46,719 undergraduates and uh, 6,156 um, postgraduate um, students. Then within the context of this topic, um, social justice and diversity. Um, libraries uh, should support and engage diverse communities and libraries are on the forefront of justice, uh, neutrality, social justice therefore becomes uh, very significant. <clears throat> that means that uh, they are opposed to promote diversity and inclusion and should demonstrate institutional focus for communities uh, surrounding the university campuses. And as many libraries operate in a political structures, therefore should prioritize certain values. And those core values is uh, anti-racism um, and non-discrimination. They should provide responsive and inclusive access to resources and services and should promote um, use of information and, and social, at social and academic level. And it is significant that they promote freedom of speech, creativity in use of talent, safe and accessible spaces, adhering to universal learning designs. In ensuring that um, all these um, contexts of the the social justice um, uh, spheres uh, adhere to. We ensure that as the university and the library um, in particular, we, we give context, you know, um, in terms of the, the six strategic priority areas that we, that we developed, that is our content discovery. <clears throat> we innovate and integrate, and we inform, educate, and communicate the users, and we enable and disseminate um, information. And we encourage and empower, and we engage and, pos and position ourselves within the university community, as well as um, externally surrounding communities. And with the strategy statement is that um, we give effect to the university strategy by positioning ourselves to transform as a, uni as a unitary institution of superior academic excellence with commitment to social justice. And our dream is to be internationally recognized and distinguished university library in Africa and beyond, known for commitment and to partnership in student success, esteemed scholarship in research, social responsiveness, and an ethic of care. And our purpose as the library and information services to provide access to cutting edge and relevant resources and services to fulfill academic expectations to our user community in a professional, creative and innovative manner. And um, just to summarize that um, we, we foster cohesive, cohesive, uh, cohesive programs and outright um, a prejudice as we stay neutral, you know, in all political spheres and um, promote um, education um, in terms of um, teaching, learning, research as well. And then to narrow our strategy context, therefore we developed um, a strategic plan, you know, for, for five years. And within this context, and um, relating to the topic of today, you will see with the examples that will come a little bit later in the presentation that we ensure content discovery by means of providing the diverse print and electronic resources. And in terms of informing, educating and communicating, we foster a positive experience, experience for, for, for library users. 
and we continuously innovate and, inter and, and integrate. That is, we ensure that we introduce new technologies. Currently, we're busy with the virtual tour and we've recently introduced uh, robotics. And we integrate technology for seamless systems operations and all of this is done in support of e-learning. And as we engage and position ourselves, we ensure that that is done within the university and um, also externally outside the university. And um, across our three campuses, as well as the branch libraries, we invest in, transfor in transformational spaces for all students. And we work very closely with the disability rights unit and their strategic plan, you know, linking very well with the library's um, strategic plan. It is to improve access to university for all qualifying students with disabilities. And this includes eliminating structural and systematic barriers as it pertains to disability-based discrimination. The Disability Rights Unit receives the recognition it deserves in terms of priority in, in institutional plans and, and mandates. And the support that is provided by the DRU is concession support, advocacy support, outreach activities, counseling services, accessibility, and, 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 and transportation of students um, if they have to go on campus, maybe for out of campus, maybe for field work, and ensuring that um, they easily get to, to lecture halls as well and other venues uh, within the university. And they raise awareness and educate on disabilities and identify projects and stakeholder involvement. And they contribute to social justice and sharing of, of, of expertise, working collaboratively with the library and other relevant departments. And as the library service, sorry. And as a library, as a library service, um, we provide information such as to all students, uh, books, book requests, information literacy training, and note training, general assistance in library, library orientation, braille and keyboards, as well as other assistive devices, uh, screen magnifiers, and uh, collaborative rooms in terms of seminar rooms for group discussions, of which some are on the ground floor for easy accessibility. And we have a, a Skype room and um, we have uh, asked us uh, as a collaborative online reference service that allows students to chat with librarians. And this platform uh, can be used without our students being physically on, on campus. And in one of our campuses, we have, um, which is uh, the Funded Bell Park, we have a lift with braille buttons and uh, also there are ramps for students that um, are on, on wheelchairs. And I can mention that uh, the Pochettstrom campus has proposed to renovate uh, the lift and has lowered uh, several counters as well in the library to ensure um, that um, we meet um, within um, the desired um, infrastructural needs of students with. Um, disabilities. In 2019, the library entered into um, a, a partnership agreement with a generous sponsorship that we received uh, from SASO, that is a SASO um, Community Trust. And this partnership, it was demonstrated in a form of uh, a collaborative project that was um, uh, developed and uh, championed and uh, we had a, a project plan and it was well scheduled just over a year, it was completed. And uh, other partners that were very involved, it was the Department of Arts, Culture, Sports and Recreation, as well as the, the South African Library for the Blind. And the objectives of the project, it was to establish many libraries across the, the Northwest province and contribute to, to new knowledge generation and capacity building enablement uh, over time and maximize efficient use of, of, of existing infrastructure and share resources and expertise that would result in fully independent persons and contribute to skills development 
to effect professional growth and personal development, and also support and enhance existing pro provincial um, information literacy programs. This is the map of where um, these um, municipal libraries are based in the province. That is the, the Northwest province. And the municipal uh, libraries that, uh, the, the municipalities that were supported, it was um, these four, which is the Buchanala Platinum and the Dr. Kenneth Kawunda and Ruth uh, Sukhometsi Mopati and Ngaka Mudiri Mulema. Through this uh, partnership, we were able to establish all these um, 24 libraries. And this meant that every municipality had a mini library. And the concept of mini library, you know, is not something uh, unique just for South Africa, you know, but however, um, within the context of this research, you know, we discovered that um, this is also done in other libraries as well in different forms but however, with the same objective. And these mini libraries can be defined as dedicated spaces with suitable furniture, assistive technology, information and communication technology resources that are made available in accessible format. And in Korea, they are referred to as a VML, which is Village Mini Library. And these are also done in partnership with the government and public sector. So which is something similar to the South African context. And um, still in, 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 but however, the southern part of Korea, these are, um, are developed in rural communities as an additional service for the people. So they're regarded as an, ex an extension of um, a public library service. And as well as you can see the similarities and uh, in, in, in Philippines, you know, these mini libs are referred as Lumbert, that is a, a school uh, mini library, and uh, the references um, are shown there. And then the impact of this project is that all municipalities um, have, have mini libraries and services have been extended to date. When we establish projects, we ensure that there is impact and that there is continuity. This project is still active, and more information is to follow. And there was a research publication um, uh, in an accredited journal, you know, on this project. And we continuously um, had seminars and workshops um, running as well. The deliverables, um, just being more specific, is the 24 mini libraries that were established. Um, enhance, enhancement of existing university mini libraries that is within the university there was establishment of the mini libraries as well, not only in the, in the surrounding communities. And um, there was capacity building and training for both librarians and users and the development of a, a training manual in all accessible formats. And we got um, a blind SA involved to revise um, the, the, that manual. And we procured necessary equipment and assistive technology and uh, we marketed the services and there was also the media briefing that was national uh, the, and it demonstrated impact of the project. And the progressive developments uh, to date uh, that um, the project has been maintained and it has uh, expanded and it has been, um, we've been able to maintain and provide support in the narration of uh, Setswana books in particular, because this is the predominant language in the, in the Northwest province. So most readers, especially at the lower literacy level, they, they prefer to start reading in their own language that is um, in Setswana before they can read even English or that is done um, concurrently. Then um, there was also reintroduction of the blind and visually impaired people residing in the 24 communities. And we conducted information literacy sessions for staff and users. And then the stats as of 2021 to 2022 is that five libraries has been established in Zerast. And then also six mini libraries have been established in uh, Dr. Ruth Mopati district and nine mini libraries in Bujala district. And then in Dr. Kenneth Kawunda, five mini libraries have been um, established. So you can see that um, 
there is continuity there. So um, our efforts and the and those of the the provincial um, uh, government um, are, are planned and well coordinated. I can mention that um, there were workshops that were conducted, especially um, training users using the 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 updated manual, uh, with the stakeholders being involved directly, and this was. Um, within uh, the communities where um, information sharing took place. And then the program developments is that um, we can mention that the project is still active and um, they've con they have uh, evaluated existing studios to see if um, they can be in use and some of them were, uh, were renovated. And um, there is use of existing studios of the department. And with that effort from the renovations, 20 books have been narrated to date and uh, with the focus on uh, Setswana. And then um, they're in the process of, 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 of establishing independent studios. Um, and these were procured from March, uh, sorry, from February to March, 2023. The narration services is very vibrant in Mafiking, also with the community being involved as well. And then in 2023 to 2024, there is a plan to establish a booth in either Mabato or Mafiking library in the, audio, in the audiovisual room. There are other uh, projects that are running within the library especially with the outreach services that is coordinated through, um, through the office of the, the, the manager outreach um, community and uh, uh, projects. We have a, a formal position within the structure and that person is responsible for assisting with uh, coordinating these projects with the community as well as uh, other departments within the library. Um, like last year, uh, in 2022, we donated uh, 10 computers and 800, um, and 800 books um, uh, to the JB Marx uh, municipality because uh, they had not received the budget for books for the last 10 years. And the library saw the need um, upon um, getting a request. So, and, and then we reach out. And then we also, um, donated um, a library system, which is called uh, Polygon uh, to the Sunrise uh, Primary in, in Rustenbeck. Um, we make sure that uh, what we give is uh, of value and can assist with um, operations in the library. For instance, this, li this library in Sunrise View, the librarian was struggling, you know, to, to teach and also run um, uh, library services. Therefore, you know, we saw that um, with the library system, you know, some of the operations can be automated, like um, the circulation services and so on, and that made her life easy. It's, yeah, and we ensure that there is monitoring and evaluation. We don't just give, but however, we follow up again to see what we have, what we, the donation, if, it's, if it was worthwhile and it's well utilized. Then um, other outreach programs I can mention, it was um, in February, 2020, the NWU librarians along with the uh, Bukamutsu Literature Club members joined the celebration by reading storybooks to the children. This movement raised visibility of the LIS, not only institutionally, but also embed the library in community. This milestone enhanced community engagement initiatives by the, by the library. Um, and then also in theology, um, Professor Fricks um, has an outreach program with, um, with the prison inmates. And then uh, the library staff were requested um, to, to donate old uh, Bibles and books. And these were, were given to the professor of which um, he uses some of these you know, also for his ministry and also for the prisoners as well in uh, Pochevstrom. And 
And then in Fande Bay Park, you know, uh, we make sure that uh, on Mandela Day, there are activities across the three campuses. And here it was uh, right at the lobby of the Fande Bay Park Library, where library staff prepared soup and um, the soup was, um, and um, freshly baked goods were given to um, support staff uh, on campus. So that is protection services, uh, the cleaners and gardening services, you know, and um, it, it was uh, a very pleasant day. As you can see the staff in action. And then this was uh, Pochefstrom um, library staff, you know, that, that donated uh, dog, cat food and treated blankets, dog beds and items needed um, to treat the injured animals. The staff had an opportunity to take part in feeding the animals and enjoy walking and jogging with some of the dogs. As you can see, the staff, they, yeah, you know, giving the, the 60 minutes of their time. And then during exams, you know, the library supported uh, by um, having partnership with, um, with the mascot department. And um, there was a, a theme that was invented that is called uh, take control of your exams. Then the mascot visited the students as they, as they were studying in the library. And this uh, brought about a very pleasant mood in the library. And also the library staff set out tables in the library in the form of marketing the event and to assist students on how to navigate the library catalog to retrieve the desired information resources. And students were offered gifts from the Center for, for Teaching and Learning and the library wished them well in their preparation. We had liaised with the mascot department on the Pochefstrom, uh, Van der Bay Park and Mafikeng campus and Iggy, that is the name of the mascot, uh, visited the libraries on the 15th of June to offer a high five and a hug with the chocolate to wish the student well in the exams. And the librarian also offered pamphlets that included a QR code that um, directs the student to the past exam papers um, on the library catalog. And during library orientation, this is uh, this year, you know, that is um, giving long presentation is, is not ideal on the first day of orientation in the library. We try to change it a little bit this year. The library created a video that includes the infrastructure and the services offered. The video covered the library spaces and this, eliminate, and this eliminated having a vast amount of students in the library for orientation. And also the library had a, a Q&A where students asked about where they, where they saw the video, mainly what services are available, and um, mostly the undergraduates uh, participated. And as part of the, the student engagement, the library staff had prepared a dance challenge for student, um, which was ama piano and hip hop groups, and these are genius that were chosen as these are the most preferred uh, by this generation, that is the younger generation. And there were also prizes to be won, and uh, one of the prizes uh, to be won was the, the, the reference and guide, the Northwest um, University reference guide. As you can see on orientation day, you know, it was colorful and very vibrant and student felt uh, very much welcome and, um, you know, fitting in the new environment of the university. And our future plan is renovating our, 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 our services as in line with the, the library strategy plan. And the objective is to have physical virtual spaces that are flexible, innovative and welcoming, and to ensure that the maximum uh, appropriate these maximum appropriate use of our spaces and um, the existing infrastructure. And also we want to ensure that we apply universal design framework and to in order to support uh, the differently able student and um, to fully support them and promote um, in inclusivity. And uh, we want to uh, provide technical support to staff and students and to ensure that the unit has accessible ac assistive devices needed by students with the uh, with impairments. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then um, we want to make sure that uh, we increase also um, the private cubicles because currently we have a very limited number, you know, especially in the information commons or where it will be fit in the library. We've already uh, received approval of the project and this work is going to commence in May this year. And um, we want to make sure that our spaces, you know, um, it, it is easy you know, for students on wheelchair to uh, move around and provide also additional assistive technologies, working closely with the, the disability rights um, unit. Yeah, they recommend what needs to be purchased. And we would uh, extend loan services, loan service privileges as well. And we have uh, ensured that, um, you know, we incorporate the new developments into the, the fourth, embracing the fourth industrial revolution and artificial intelligence as we are in process of implementing the 360 degree virtual tool, uh, which will be used mostly for orientation and also as an, as an information literacy tool. And um, our digital integration will embrace um, the, the philosophical element of Ubuntu, you know, um, as part of a library industry 4.0, you know, um, especially with the robot that um, we is currently under development and it will be launched in September. It will have multilingual capabilities and it will re-emphasize ethics of care for the university as we aim that uh, everybody benefits as part of our plan is that uh, this robot will be loaned also to local schools should they need it. And we're gonna use it also on open days. And um, this is will be done also in support of um, ensuring that there's cutting edge uh, research with all the work done with these new developments and improve efficiency. That is children in surrounding communities will be afforded an opportunity and possibilities to expand their horizons through the Northwest University community projects. Thank you. The, uh, just a few references to note. Yeah. Thank you, Chairperson. I will um, now hand over to. I'll hand over to to Helen Ching. Yeah, I think uh, she will introduce her topic. Yeah. Thank you yes. very much. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Ms. Uh, Kaunda. Uh, before we hand over to, to, to Ms. Chan, uh, which is Helen, I would like to remind colleagues that, uh, you know, there will be an opportunity, hopefully at the end of, of these presentations for question and answer session. So please do, you know, just ask your questions using the Q&A um, feature that is on Zoom. Uh, if you want to ask any questions, uh, Helen, over to you. Yes, thank you. Um, thank you very much. And this is Helen, Helen Chen, the EFLA Professional Division Committee Chair of Division F. Uh, thank you for the warm introductions from my colleague in the Academic and Research Library session, ARL. Um, I feel tremendously honored to present as a speaker at the webinar today. Uh, before I start, I would like to make a correction. I am the founder of the module uh, accessible information for all for the students of the Bachelor's of Science in Information Management at the Hong Kong U, but not the founder of the whole program. Yes. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, depending on where you are. Now, based on the sites, visits, and interviews of the librarians, professionals of four out of the eight UGC fund university libraries recently, as well as my observation, the experience of mingling with academic uh, professionals, users with different abilities for over 20 years in um, academic and research libraries, ARL in Hong Kong special administrative regions of China. I would like to take this presentation as a starting uh, dialogue of having some structural changes and to take actions to incorporate accessibility in the daily practice of ARL in order to move forward and advance our library services to create a stronger impact in societies. ARL professionals usually strive for something they don't find enough to satisfy the needs of users, institutions, and society. However, when there are enough to spend, they will fight for the betterment. 
In my presentation, I will overview the strengths and weaknesses of ARL in Hong Kong's special administrative regions of China from five perspectives, including the policies and funding, human resources, space design, collections and services, and evaluation. I call them five pillars as they are the, fundament, uh, the uh, fundamental the, uh, elements of an ARL, followed by my suggestions to the future development of accessibility in ARL. So before I start, I would like to take this opportunity to express my thankfulness to the librarians and professionals of the um, Hong Kong University Library, Ms. Tina Yan and Ms. Connie Kong, the Chinese University of Hong Kong Library, Ms. Lily Ko, and the Education University of Hong Kong Library, Dr. Sili Zhang and Dr. Francis Chen, and also the Bachelor, uh, the Baptist University of Hong Kong Library, Mr. Chris Chen, who provided useful information on libraries to support my presentation today. In Hong Kong, the funding of the university mainly comes from the University Grants Committee Fund. We call it UGC Fund. This funding directly affects the budget of libraries on accessibility and inclusiveness matters. From the Education Bureau's documents on the recurrent funding for the University Grants Committee Fund University in the 2022 and 2023 to 2024 to 2025, Triennium, UGC's specific recurrent funding recommendations at a total cost of 63,211.3 million in the 2022 to 2025 Triennium. From the sustainability implications, the recurrent funding proposal are in line with the sustainability principle of enabling individuals to fulfill their potential by providing access to adequate and appropriate education. So, how much can each university library take and how much can be spent by the libraries on the accessibility matters? If we look at the figures for, uh, from 2022 and 2023 universities can receive fundings of 480 million to 4,850.1 million uh, for the school year. One of the university receiving 4,850.1 million in 2022 and 2023 have around 290,000 Hong Kong dollar for the libraries to handle the uh, special needs equipment and collection matters other than funding for other uh, special need issues. So sometimes sufficient fundings may create a headache on how to spend that money in a library. Without clear statements and policies on accessibility and inclusiveness, it is not easy to find a direction on how to meet the special needs of the stakeholders, including the um, SEN students, by relying on the library staff's own understanding and point of views, especially if the staff may not have um, professional trainings on special needs. The accessibility of library services to users with disability is a concern recently when the government, the Hong Kong government, is committed to enhanced and inclusive society so that all the individuals can enjoy equality and respect in different areas of life. In Hong Kong, special administrative regions of China, there are approximately 5 to 8 percent of students with SEN in each university from an official survey. And in Hong Kong, uh, special administrative regions of China, overarching legislation around disability discrimination and access is reported in the Disability Discrimination Act 1995. Disability Discrimination Ordinance kept 487 renders unlawful certain acts which discriminate against a person on the ground of disability when committed in prescribed areas of activity, including employment, education, provision of goods, services, and all facilities, access to premises. Though this legislation may not be directly referred to libraries, all libraries have a responsibility to fully serve everyone in, in their organizations or institutions. Individual libraries may have a few items related to special needs users in their policies. For example, uh, special needs users have priorities in using um, the SEN workstations in uh, ARL. 
However, without an overall planning, those bits and pieces items may not benefit the sustainable development of ARLs, equality, accessibility, diversity, and inclusiveness. In the interviews before this webinar, it's grateful to learn that diversity and inclusion are one of the main concerns of individual, library, uh, individual universities. Strategic Plans 2021 to 2025. The Chinese University of Hong Kong Strategic Plan 2021 to 2025 highlights that diversity and inclusion are one of the key initiatives of the COHK 2025. The university will ensure that students with special educational needs are given all the necessary help and support. The university strategic plan provides a clear direction to the university, including the libraries, to handle the different related matters, including the accessibility policy, collection, services, program, and evaluation in the libraries. It will definitely create a positive impact on the accessibility development of the university libraries in CUHK. With the government's commitment to enhance Hong Kong's special administrative regions of China as an inclusive society and individual user university chancellor's leaderships on inclusion, it is a good time to start a clear library policy documents on accessibility, equal opportunity, diversity, and inclusion, other than the university one. Every library policy should incorporate the fundamental principles outlined in any requirements under the Local Legal Act on Disabilities. In addition, every library should operate under a written um, affirmative actions or equal opportunity policy, which indicates a commitment to equal access and employment opportunities to all employees and applicants. Incorporate best practices for accessibility into procedures and policy, and also include people with a variety of disability from a variety of back backgrounds in every steps of the setup, implementation, and evaluation process. Every library and information service should develop disability access and inclusion plans. The plans should include short and long-term objectives, strategies, uh, or strategies for their achievement and sustainability, and mechanism for evaluation and review. Custom uh, customer service is the starting point for providing um, reasonable extra support. Most ARL provide individual services for special needs students. Basically, awareness is the key word. It is important for everyone who works in the libraries, from the hall porter, who may be the first uh, point of user, user contact, to the senior librarians who developed strategies and make decisions. In order to provide adequate and appropriate services to the special needs users, it is necessary for the staff in general to have an understanding of special needs, including those relate, uh, relating to varying communication skills. To those responsible for supervising the running of the SEN library services, they could extend their knowledge of specific um, SEN culture, special collections of materials, captioning of video programs, assistive devices, teleological communication aids, etc. Audit your social media and the web page for accessibility is very important. Make sure the web page is compatible to at least the level AA of Web Content Accessibility Guidelines 2.1. We all know that AI is a fast evolving technology with great potential to enhance work efficiency in different industries. Different research present us with new insight into how university libraries can leverage technologies to actualize innovation in service provision and catch up with digital transform uh, transformation in this age of the fourth industrial revolution. This makes some library users worry about the, the over application of technologies in ARLs, which includes the replacement of the counter services with online uh, support services and different technologies in individual university libraries in Hong Kong, special administrative region of China. The deepest worry should go to the SEN um, users who always need library staff guide them to different places, even including to the toilets, and share with them the different new services and programs. 
Personally, I cannot see so much space for us to replace all counter staff with AI, especially when we talk about taking care of users with different um, disabilities and abilities shortly. In many countries, the provision of library services to SEN community is not included as an individual model in schools of librarianship. A separate model on library services to special needs is necessary in the long run. I'm grateful for a new model about accessible information needs start this year at the uh, University of Hong Kong for the uh, Bachelor of Science in Information Management students. Hope it could be included in the professional training in librarianships of different levels to fully exercise the universal design concepts in ARLs and societies. All library staff should receive training in how to communicate effectively um, with different um, users with different abilities or disabilities. When we talk about library space, uh, especially library space design, universal design principles will be well fit for the purpose. In Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of China, under the Design Manual Barrier-Free Access 208 of Housing Authorities, the barrier-free design requirements newly introduced design consideration and recommend design requirements aim to facilitate greater independence of not only persons with a disability, but all ages. It is intended that the implementation of the design manual to be result in great awareness of the public professionals and developers who will come to appreciate the value of making the built environment more accessible and friendly to as broad a spectrum of the whole community as possible. However, new space decides to accommodate the changing needs of special uh, needs users in the digital age in libraries still needs extra effort from library professionals yeah. on understanding the full the application of universal design. Take an easy uh, to understand example. The signage on the door of uh, toilets for special users. Many libraries use the paint international symbol of access, also known as the international wheelchair symbol, summed with belt beside it on the door of the toilet for disability users. We're still being aware of the fact that over 50% of the people with visually impairment in Hong Kong are not innate, but are quiet. They may not familiar with Braille. Tactile signage instead of a paint one will be more useful for them. There is enough funding for libraries to buy suitable equipments and facilities for special needs users. Um, please invite the special needs users to be uh, the one of the space design committee members or the acquisition purchase committee, um, listening to their list in the libraries, asking for the trial opportunities for special needs students before purchasing um, collections. Don't rely on the promotion to information from the vendors only. They then may have regional differences in the application too. For example, sign language in America is very popular over the world. However, it is different from those practiced in Hong Kong. Um, expensive and sm uh, uh, small devices may not be better than those trunky ones for the visually impaired, uh, for the students with visually impairment. Regarding the online tools or computer software, the installation of all necessary softwares like JAWS, NVDA, are found in most ARLs in Hong Kong Special Administrative Regions of China, which is really good. The Chinese University of Hong Kong Library is one of the ARLs in Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of China to offer induction loop systems for users who use hearing aids. However, not all ARLs are aware of the importance of induction loop systems in their major theaters or presentation rooms to the users, including the elderly uh, or the elder professors uh, with uh, hearing impairment. In fact, uh, universal design oops, means more than the application of environmental design, construction of buildings or silage. Generally speaking, to ARL, universal design means the design of production of collection materials and equipments for people with a disability, design of catalogs, database, and guides to resources. 
development and application of hardware and software, building safety and emergency procedures, e-resources, compatibilities, and website contents are all usable by all users to the greatest extent possible without the need for adaptation or, or spe uh, specialized design. This ensure that the library and information services, collections, equipments, facilities meet the um, identified the needs of users with different abilities and disabilities. Um, when we talk about collections, audio books are the most common alternatives in handling um, special needs students' needs on collections. Other than audio books, library professionals should aware different formats of collections that are suitable for their um, uh, CA and, um, or special needs users. Libraries should collect materials related to different um, SEN cultures that will be of interest to both SEN or non-SEN users. Other than that, libraries should also collect materials of special interest to SEN peoples and to those who will need information or will have a general interest in different SEN. Add captions to video content and uh, transcribed audio contents like the podcast. When negotiate with um, vendors for services such as database and uh, software, ask about accessibility, ask for the VA, VPAT, the voluntary, uh, voluntary product accessibility template, and ask if the product means, uh, meets the standards that set by the, um, the web content accessibility guidelines 2.1. The response may reveal whether accessibility is a priority for their company. Libraries are often in a unique position of providing complete information from an uh, impartial and dispassionate perspective. Because of this position, libraries have the responsibility to exercise caution in ensuring that they collect materials from the all viewpoints, particularly in such areas as information for special need users. For the services, all of the library's collection services and programs should be made accessible to special communities. Um, special need users should be involved in the design and development of the library services to special needs users. Research showed that efforts to make conference uh, or online meetings more accessible for all people with disabilities benefit all conference goers. Accessible web content is especially um, important to those users with print disabilities. Most ARLs in Hong Kong have beautiful websites filled with robust information and highlight the provision of accessible web content. Um, it is really proud to say that um, that is uh, one of the uh, university which get the golden award in uh, web content um, recognition screen. Without the enforcement by law in Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of China, the standard of building an accessible website, uh, which is provided by the WCAG 2.1, is not easy to meet. The 78 success criteria vary in differences. Creating the library web page with level A8 um, conformance could make the provided information accessible to most people, regardless of their abilities and disabilities. And then the, uh, in Hong Kong, the Internet Registration Corporation Limit, Johnny organized the web accessibility recognition scheme with the Office of the Government Chief Information Officers since 2013. It is grateful to know that um, the individual ARL, such as the uh, Baptist University of Hong Kong Library webpage, got the gold award of the scheme. This can add as the quality assurance of the web accessibility, which all ARL should aim at, other than evaluating their uh, um, web content with um, the, um, uh, the online um, evaluation checkers. So um, for the evaluation, yes, it is important. Um, set up an accessibility review team to, with members representing every department of the library, audit the organization for accessibility and collaborate with different um, special needs associations or organization for improvements, providing training and collective feedback from the patrons and build up the community partnerships with disability and disability serving organizations uh, which can help too. Different staff, for example, event coordinator should contact the accessibility review team for um, assistance in arranging accommodations. 
invite the special needs stakeholders in the university to evaluate the five pillars that I just mentioned, um, including the students, alumni, staff, community groups, uh, industry, and professional, as well as government. Helen, uh, please, please uh, to just conclude. Uh, we don't have much yes. time now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, let me have the last minute, uh, one minute to do the wrap up. So here is my final thought. The EFLA uh, ARL sessions can collaborate with the EFLA uh, library services to people with specialty session and the EFLA library um, services uh, with uh, print disability sessions or other professional units you time at hobby to create accessibility guidelines, especially for the ARLs. You will be proactively taking on the accessibilities by incorporating the seven principles of universal design into the five pillars I mentioned in the creation of the guidelines and lead the industry to another height. So thank you very much. And this is the end of my sharing today. Yes, uh, uh, thank you uh, very much to, to both uh, speakers. Uh, please join me in applauding uh, both, you know, the speakers for coming to this uh, webinar to share their important perspectives and context um, on how they, you know, in their libraries are contributing to social justice. Uh, what I had being presented by the speakers was the intentionality, you know, of these actions in academic and research libraries, which means they are not, you know, doing these things accidentally. It's true, deliberate action. I do hope that these presentations will provoke more deliberate action, you know, towards social justice by various libraries and librarians around the world. Um, unfortunately, colleagues, uh, we don't have much time uh, for questions. I see there's somebody who wants to ask a question. Maybe just just one person. Let's hear what you, you want to ask. There was a hand up. Please go ahead. Oh, okay, uh, it looks like the, the person doesn't want to speak anymore. Um, but uh, in any case, um, the chair of the ARL section of IFLA, um, Gulsin Krip, will do a vote of thanks, uh, you know, to, to thank both speakers as well as, you know, uh, the various uh, role players in terms of organizing this webinar. Over to you, Gulsin. Thank you. Thank you, Saviva. Uh, good evening from Australia. <clears throat> I'm Gilstrom Kripp. I'm the chair of academic and research library section of IFLA. So it's my pleasant duty to say a few words to thank our wonderful speaker, speakers Helen Tan and Nelly Kwanda, uh, Kwanda. I learned so much. There were just so many amazing ideas, so many initiatives happening in South Africa, in, in Hong Kong. And uh, thank you very much for these insightful, interesting, and amazing presentations. Uh, I'd also like to say a big thank you to Sivibe, who coordinated this webinar today. And of course, Kayela from University of Cape Town, who has become almost an honorary member of ARL in helping us with our webinars in the technology. I'd like to say a big thank you to the webinar team, including Reggie and Karen, Shin, and of course, Sviwe. And um, so this webinar highlighted the internationality of inclusivity, diversity, and social justice. What a wonderful combination of speakers we had from South Africa and from Hong Kong. And IFLA is, is, is very fortunate to have people like Helen and, and Nili, uh, who we could call upon to share their experiences with a global audience. So without further ado, I'd like to stop here so people can go to their businesses and watch out for uh, other AR events uh, in the works coming. For example, our satellite conference at Erasmus University in August on inclusive open access. So as you see, we are very much focused on inclusivity and global attitudes and diversity. Thank you very much. Have a good day, good evening, and goodbye.